Hi everyone, welcome to episode number eight of the Life Writers blog, where you can find inspiration and useful tips to help you write your life story. Today we are going to write in response to a prompt. It's a prompt I've used often because it always generates some really interesting material. Plus it's a prompt that can be done over and over again with different results every time because it's so versatile. I'm also going to show you a method that is a great way to start writing. It's a form of brainstorming where you make a list before you actually start writing sentences and paragraphs. List making is a great way to brainstorm. How you do it is you set a timer for five to 10 minutes. I wouldn't go too much longer than that. It has been proven that longer than 15 minutes of brainstorming doesn't produce effective results or generate very many new ideas. I tend to go with five to seven minutes because you can get a lot done in a short period of time. So what I want you to do is write one, two, three words to help you remember what that thought was. Don't write complete sentences, just make a list. Write as quickly as possible. Don't stop to think too much. Just keep making that list. Write whatever comes into your mind, whether it seems like it fits or it doesn't. Don't judge it. Just keep your pen moving the entire time. Here's the topic we're first going to brainstorm. This topic is called scars. Scars. I read a quote recently by novelist Cormac McCarthy. He authored All the Pretty Horses and a number of other books, but he said in that book, scars have the strange power to remind us that our past is real. Scars have the strange power to remind us that our past is real. Every scar has a story behind it. Some of these stories are pretty painful. Some scars might have resulted in saving your life. Some may be associated with joy, like having a baby. Some may remind you of childhood fun that just had a moment or two that wasn't so fun. Most obvious are the physical scars on our body but we also have emotional scars. So consider them as well. What I want you to first start off doing is make a list of all the scars you have. Write only a couple of words for each entry. Remember, you are making a list. You're not writing the story. I'm gonna put a timer on for you and I'll tell you when to stop brainstorming after the five minutes.
Okay, five minutes are up. How did you do? How did you do making your list? Did you get a lot of entries? Did it trigger some memories you maybe hadn't thought about in a while? So here's your exercise. Pick a scar from your list. Look down your list and then circle one of the scars you want to write about. Then start writing your story about that scar, the story that lives behind that scar. Write your story in detail. Let it play out on the page. Put the reader in your shoes and allow them to experience that scar happening. But remember, Always, most important is the only way to do this wrong is to not do it at all. The only way to do this wrong is to not do it at all. So have a good time writing about a particular scar. We would love to read what you have written. So if you care to, please share your story with us down below in the comments section. You can upload a Microsoft Word document or an Adobe PDF document in the comments section. Allow us to celebrate you writing this story. So until next time, everybody, happy writing. If you enjoyed this week's episode, you will love our Life Writers membership. Whether you don't know where to start writing your life stories, have started and stopped many times, or have been writing but want to receive feedback to make your stories better, the Life Writers membership is where you need to be. We have a get started roadmap, an extensive library of instructional videos, live events via Zoom, and a supportive and active community. If you want to take the stories that live in your heart and mind and put them onto the page, check out Life Writers at lifewriters.us.